Cody McKenzie here, aka Kitty Hawk, aka the AK Kid. I'm a professional fighter, been fighting seven, eight years now. I fought about 30 fights. I have one decision and I have lost four fights. One of them was a bad decision. I fight for the UFC currently. I have been with them for about three years. I fought some tough dudes in the UFC and um, I'll be fighting another one coming April 27th. I'm fighting Leonard Garcia. He's a big swinger, tough guy. I'm gonna have to go whoop his ass come April 27th. I'm looking forward to it. This is uh, on a quest to 145. This is some videos I'm gonna be putting out once a week and probably a couple uh, after the fight too, a couple weeks after and depending on the feedback and the success we get, uh, I might keep making them. I'll be covering nutrition tips, training tips, weight cutting tips, the mental aspect of fighting, talking about my training, talking about who I'm training with, where I'm training at. Right now, I've been down in Venice Beach, staying at Ronda Rousey's place and training with Uriah Hall and Rhonda's people. I've been training down at uh, GFC with uh, Edmund Tarverdian, Ronda Rousey's boxing coach, real good boxing coach. And I, I used to just put my head down and just swing big punches when I got first started doing stand-up and fighting, and I thought that was stand-up fighting. Edmund is probably the best boxing coach I've ever had the pleasure of working with. I mean, he works with tons of great fighters. I got some good box coaches back home in Spokane, but Edmund, he's, uh, he's just at another level. Recently, real good karate guy. Did some stand up with him the other day. Here, I Hall, real good knockout artist. Um, been great training with him, funny guy. I'm trained with uh, Ronaldo Barral, uh, eight time world champion in the Gi. Real good jiu jitsu guy. I've never trained with so many black belts in my life. We uh, went 12 six minute rounds, which was real tough because I usually don't grapple that long, but it, it was real good to uh, work that Gi training and get a different look on fighting. These videos are on a quest to 145. I'm weighing about 185 right now. Uh, I gotta cut a lot of weight, so it's gonna be a pain, but I got Quest Nutrition Bars. I eat two of those a day, and uh, right after a workout is the best time because your body is craving nutrition. <laughs> So we're here on Venice Beach, it's about 6 o'clock at night. Cody McKenzie has decided now is the best time to go for a swim. You guys who live in small towns or maybe live in a bigger city but just don't, doesn't have a good gym, watch my videos. I'll be uh, showing what it takes to become a professional fighter. So be watching on a quest, 145. Cody McKenzie. She came in like, alright, does anyone know how to fall? And all I said was, uh, and she took it as a yes. And then she pretty much, no, I didn't say, uh huh. I was like, uh, and she said, alright, you come up here. Alright, and then she double tossed my ass. And then I was like, who is it? And then she's like, oh, I thought you knew how to fall. Yeah, like when I trip on the ground, I know. Yeah, exactly. That's a ball. I got it on a catch. I see judo flip. I don't know if you have judo thrown by an Olympian. You retire one day and want to be a stuntman. You'll be a professional faller. All the stunts that I've done have been like falling. Because if you get to a point you know you're right, you can fall on the concrete outside. Like, I wish you'll be okay. Because, like, so, so that was your way of teaching me how to fall? You never what? heard that story about Rhonda that falling out of a plane and living? <laughs> she flew like... I fell right on Cody's stomach and I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just done straight up. I'm just done straight up. I'm just done straight up.